the national anthem to get set for the first pitch between Valley View and Riverside. That's coming up right after a two-minute timeout. This is High School Baseball on the EAB Sports Network. Go outside and play with Jonesboro Cycle and ATV. Jonesboro Cycle is your go-to for all your power sports needs. Whether it be off-road, on-road, or on the wall, check out their inventory of four-wheelers, side-by-sides, motorcycles, dirt. that we're flipping the script on carbine. Don't stand for bait and switch tactics. That's all in. We believe in transparency and trust. You deserve the car you want with a payment much lower than your rent. Arkansas Superstore is here to make sense of it all for you. Come over and find your dream ride. You're approved. When the banks say no, I say yes. Visit us today at 11580 Highway 49 North in Brooklyn or online at ArkansasSuperstore.com. For over a decade, the Arkansas Children's Hospital Jonesboro Clinic has served pediatric patients with specialty health care needs ranging from hearing loss to heart disease. Their doctors, nurses, and pediatric specialists combined with state-of-the-art telemedicine options means patients get the nationally ranked care Arkansas Children's Hospital is known for without driving to Little Rock. Bringing care close to your home to give kids more time to be kids is the Arkansas Children's Commitment. Visit archildrens.org backslash NEA. Getting set for a first pitch this afternoon between Valley View and Riverside and high school softball action on senior day for Valley View. Riverside against 16 and 0 on the year. Valley View at 13 and 4 overall on the season. Valley View as a team batting 308 with 23 extra base hits. Meanwhile, for Riverside, a team that's batting 466 with 71 extra base hits in their 16 games played, including 48 doubles and. 13 home runs. Meanwhile, they've given up just 41 hits. They average giving up less than three hits a game. They are per, a perfect 7-0 on the road. Meanwhile, Valley View is a perfect 7-0 on the home field this year for Valley View. It's Riley Smith on the mound who has thrown a couple of no-hitters on the season, including a six-inning no-hitter against Westside back on March 4th, and then a three-inning no-hitter against Batesville back on April 2nd for Riverside to get us clear rollback on the mound for them this afternoon as we are just about set to go between Valley View and Riverside. For Riverside, it's Annalee Qualls, Kaylee Cox, and Brooklyn Perry that will lead things off for them this afternoon. All three are batting over 500 on the season. Top part of the lineup been really good for Riverside this year. Riverside, by the way, already has wrapped up a regular season conference championship going 12-0 in conference play in the regular season. Meanwhile, Valley View right now at 7-1 in 5A East play. They are in a tie for second in the league, but still waiting on Searcy to make up some games today with West Memphis. Searcy at 6-0 and two games behind everyone else in the conference right now. Riley Smith will get the start for Valley View this afternoon. We are just about set for first pitch here for NEA Baptist broadcast position. NEA Baptist is healthcare for the next century as it'll be Annalee Qualls to lead us off this afternoon. And Qualls will stand in at the first pitch is on the way and this is for ball one. 
just underway here this afternoon at Valley View as Annalee Qualls stands in for Riverside. Next offering on the way to Qualls, swung on and fouled back behind home plate. Qualls batting 547 on the year. He's driven in 13 runs. 29 hits overall. Here comes the next offering. It is swung on and missed for a strikeout of Andy Lee Qualls. And that is how the first out of the game is recorded. One down here at the top of the first inning as it's Kaylee Cox, the Riverside shortstop, that will stand in next. Riley Smith working on the mound for Valley View this afternoon. First pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. And when one goes the count. Smith 11-4. This is her 17th appearance and 15th, excuse me, 16th start of the season. Ground ball, right side, diving stop over at second base. Throw the bag at first is in time. And it goes four to three on the put out for the second out of the inning. And it sends up Brooklyn Berry, the Riverside catcher. Riley Smith making her 17th start of the year. And earns only given up 10 earned runs on the season for an earned run average of 0.81. And has struck out now 120 batters. First pitch to Brooklyn Berry is in there for strike one. The 0 1 pitch on the way misses inside for ball one. Even to count of the ball and a strike to Brooklyn Berry. Berry with 25 hits on the season. Even count of the ball, the strike. Here comes the 1-1 pitch. And in there for a called strike two on the inside corner. Goes to a ball and two strikes. To the Riverside catcher, Brooklyn Berry. Smith comes back, set of the mound. The 1-2 pitch swung on and fouled back behind home plates. Just out in front of it to foul it off behind home plates. Keeps the count of the ball and two strikes. Just underway in the top of the first inning. Valley View and Riverside. Seen a strike out of the ground out to begin the inning. We're ready with the 2-2 pitch. It is lifted foul and will get out of play left field area. Keeps the count at two balls and two strikes to Brooklyn Berry. Berry, the right-handed batter, digs back in, ready for the 2-2 offering. 2-2 pitch is popped up, but foul and out of play. So we'll do it all over again. Two balls, two strikes, two gone here in the top of the first inning. And after recording two quick outs to begin the inning, Riley Smith on the mound having to work here. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Ground ball left side to third. Throw across the diamond to first is in time for the 5-3 put out to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors at the top of the first inning. Valley View due up after this here on the Ticket Radio Network. It's a mix and match special now at all Northeast Arkansas Domino's Pizza locations. Choose any two for $6.99 each for carryout or delivery. How about a medium two-topping pizza, oven-baked sandwich, pasta in a tin, loaded tots, Domino stuffed cheesy bread, bread twists, marble brownies, and so much more. Switch it up for lunch or dinner for the whole day. The mix and match special with any two for only $6.99 each for carryout or delivery. Only at your Northeast Arkansas area Domino's Pizza locations. Hey, dude, you won't believe it. We sold our house and we made a fortune. No way! How'd you find out it was worth that much? We used this awesome website, arhomevalue.com. It was a game changer. It's brought to you by Dustin White Realty. They know their stuff. Plus, arhomevalue.com is quick and easy to use. Don't miss out on getting top dollar for your home. Go to arhomevalue.com today. Brought to you by Dustin White Realty. Top dollar for your home sale is just a click away. arhomevalue.com To the bottom of the first, we go. Here from Valley View, Valley View and Riverside as 
the Valley View able to send the Rebels down at order one, two, and three in the top of the first inning. It went strikeout, followed by a four to three and a five to three ground out for Riverside. And Valley View will have one, two, and three due up in the order in the bottom of the first inning. As for Riverside, it's clear Wolak on the bounds. Finishing her warm-up tosses in the ERA of 1.17 on the season. Has given up just five runs overall and has struck out over 130 batters. Finishing her warm-up tosses before faces the top part of the Valley View lineup. Mackenzie Whitlock, Reese Talley, and Ellie Dawson, the top part of the Blazer lineup that she'll face here at the bottom of the first inning. Valley View and the baby blue uniforms. Valley View across the chest in royal blue, trimmed in yellow and white with yellow pinstripes. Riverside of the blue uniforms, white pinstripes with the Riverside logo on the left side of the white pants. First pitch to Mackenzie Whitlock. Misses outside for ball one. One of the count to Whitlock. Next pitch is in there. Belt tied at the top part of the zone to even the count of the ball and a strike. To Mackenzie Whitlock batting 354 on the year. 17 base hits and seven runs driven in. The 1 1 pitch is popped up on the infield. Second base side running over to make the grab is Riley Akins to record out number one. It goes P4 in the bottom of the first. And there is one gone as Racy Tally, the shortstop, will stand in next. Tally, a 205 hitter on the year, bats from the right side, first pitch. Hit out to center field, ranging back near the wall and making the grab as Andalee crawls on the run for out number two of the inning. Goes F8 in the bottom of the first, and there are two gone. As Ellie Dawson, the catcher, will stand up next for Valley View. First pitch to Dawson on the way, misses high for ball one. Leather high and outside to move the count to a ball and no strikes. To Ellie Dawson. Dawson lays up on another pitch right in that exact same area. Dawson a 361 hitter on the season. 13 hits and eight runs driven in. Two balls, no strikes. And the 2 0 pitch is fouled out of play, first base side. Moves the count to two and one here at the bottom of the first inning. No score. Valley View and Riverside with two gone at the bottom of the first. Two one pitch on the way, and this is inside. Came in chin high at inside. And Dawson steps out of the way to take all three. Three balls and a strike. Another count. The 3 1 pitch misses outside, and Dawson will draw the walk and head down to first base. So, Valley View with a two out base runner aboard for Riley Smith. Starting pitcher this afternoon will stand in and bat from the right side. Smith, a 357 hitter on the season. 49 plate appearances has recorded 15 hits. First pitch misses low for ball one. Ball and no strikes to count to the Valley View pitcher. Womack comes set on the mound. Here comes the no one pitch and it's in there for strike two. The runner at first, two gone at the bottom of the first inning. No score, Valley View and Riverside. Pitch misses. It's a strike one. Count moves to two balls at the strike. Well, two and one the count to Smith after she lays off one below the knees there. Two one pitch. Rounds her inside for ball three. Three balls at a strike goes the count to Riley Smith. Smith has drawn eight walks on the year. 
chance to draw another one here on 3-1. It does just that. So back-to-back -back walks issued by Riverside. And it puts runners at first and second for Valley View with two gone. And Lacey French, the first baseman, will stand in here. That's the sister of former Valley View and current A State baseball player Will French digs in with two on and two gone. As the first offering is in there on the outside corner for strike one. 0 1 to count. French, that's pitch, misses just low for ball one. Even to count the ball, the strike didn't miss by much on that outside corner, but just a little bit below the zone. Even to count the ball, the strike. Here to Lacey French. Well, back comes set of the mound, the 1 1 pitch. French tried to check her swing, but went around on him. And breaking ball outside the zone and moves the count to a ball and two strikes. Adding a buck 90 on the season, seven hits, four runs driven in. Runners at first and second and goes down swinging for out number three in the bottom of the first. No runs, no hits, no errors. Couple of walks drawn for the Blazers in the bottom of the first. No score after one. We're back after a one minute timeout. This is High School Softball on the EAB Sports Network. The man built a sign in the uh, Northeast Auto Shop in Missouri. Everybody writes that to the car business. But we've been in this business a long time. You know, the families in it, our boys are in it, you know, grandkids coming along. Our philosophy is real simple. We have the best customers in the world. They come and do business with us when they can go anywhere in the world and spend their money. If something breaks, we handle it for them. You know, we want to see our kids and grandkids continue this thing, and it looks like that's going to happen. The family is important to us, and the people in our communities, they know about it. At Farmers and Merchants Bank, we've been a leader in ag lending for more than 75 years. Whether you're in the market for an equipment loan, real estate financing, or funds to support operating expenses, our agro lending experts can help. We work with farmers daily to find the best financing products and competitive rates. Our long-standing relationships and knowledge of the ag industry ensure we can offer the most personalized service available. At Farmers and Merchants Bank, growing your business is truly our business. Find a local ag lender at mebanking.com, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. To the top of the second inning we go here from our A Baptist broadcast position in the A Baptist's healthcare for the next century. Riverside will have four, five, and six to up in the order. First pitch that Katie Rich sees fouls back, 0 and 1 to counts. Uh, tries to check her swing on one above the zone, and she did not, so it goes to 0 and 2. Fastball there above the zone that. Ridge couldn't hold the bat back on, and it goes to no balls, two strikes to the Riverside first baseman, Ridge. 5-19 hitter on the year, goes down looking for strike number three on the outside corner for out number one here in the top of the second. Will Mack, the starter on the mound this afternoon, will stand in next from the right side. First pitch to Claire Womack on the way, and it misses low for ball one. Got away from the catcher, Ellie Dawson, as well. 1-0 and the count. Riverside pitcher Womack digging in from the right side. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. Does an offer at one in there for strike one, just above the knees for strike one. Even to count of the ball, the strike. With one gone to the top of inning number two. Smith comes set to all the way. The 1-1 pitch is popped up. In foul territory and making the grab over there in foul territory for out number two. And it goes seven and foul ground for actually a drop in foul territory. Her vantage point is blocked over there. And so it was dropped in foul territory. There's another pop-up, this time on the first base side. And this time, the grab is made. It'll go P2 for Claire. 
Womack bats with the top half of the second inning. Riverside goes down in order. Our score after the top of inning number two, Valley View zero, Riverside zero. High school softball on the EAB Sports Network will continue after this one-minute timeout. Mom, I can't get my homework to upload. Dad, my video game is froze again. Baby's our internet down again. I'm missing the big game. Hey, I'm trying to make this online payment, but it just keeps buffering. Get your life up to speed with high-speed internet from Empower Broadband. Empower's reliable service brings high-speed internet to even the most remote areas of Northeast Arkansas. With Empower Broadband, you can stream your favorite movies, video chat with loved ones, work from home without interruptions, and so much more. Empower Broadband. Life up to speed. For more info, visit EmpowerBroadband.com. Valley View High School Athletics is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire and Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. Bottom of the second we go. Valley View and Riverside, the game expected to be pretty low scoring with two really good starting pitchers on the mound. Both of these teams have not allowed a whole lot of runs on the year. Riverside has thrown 11 shutouts. Valley View has thrown seven. We go to the bottom of the second with no score. Blazers and the Rebels. First pitch to... Marley Greeno was a called strike one on the outside corner. Second pitch got her swinging for strike two. 0 oh, and 2 the count to the Valley View third baseman Greeno. Here comes the 0 oh, 2 pitch, and Greeno is called out on strikes on the pitch of the inside corner. So back recording her second consecutive strikeout. Issued a couple of walks there in the top of the first, in the bottom of the first inning, but then was able to record an inning-ending strikeout. Another strikeout there. As there's a liner right side and caught at first base by Katie Wedge for out number two. Here in the bottom of the second, as it sends up Charlie Wilson, the left fielder who bats from the left side. First pitch to Wilson, misses belt high and outside for a ball. 1-0 to the count to the left fielder, Wilson. Wilson making her ninth plate appearance of the year as one base hit in those nine appearances. A swing and a miss there to run the count, even a ball and a strike to Wilson. That comes set from the circle, a swing and a miss. On the pitch outside the zone, a ball and two strikes. Kind of a chase one there to, to count a ball and two strikes. Next pitch misses high. Came in rather high and outside to even the count of two balls, two strikes. No score here at the bottom of the second inning. Valley View and Riverside. Matchup of two teams that have combined for almost 30 wins this season. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way, swung on and missed, but the ball gets away, thrown down to first, it is not in time. So on the drop third strike, Wilson able to advance to first safely. And Valley View has a two-out base runner aboard yet again. They drew back-to-back -back walks with two outs in the last inning. Now Amara Wright will stand in, the right fielder. First pitch is in there for strike one. Wright batting 353 on the season, one of the top hitters in the Valley View lineup. Out of the count, 0-1. The 0-1 pitch swung on and missed, just behind him at a the top of his own fastball to move the count to no balls, two strikes. To the right fielder, right. Ready with the 0-2 offering. Right doesn't offer at a fastball above the zone. Looks to count to a ball and two strikes here. Right. 12 hits on the year, including eight runs batted in. 
Cooks. The 0-2 pitch is popped up. We're going to get out of play behind home plate. Keeps the count. No balls, two strikes. You're in the bottom of the second. No score. Family View and Riverside from our NEA Baptist broadcast position. The 0-2 pitch on the way. A fastball that misses again. Came in shoulder high and even counted two balls and two strikes. And to the 9-0 hitter, Amara Wright. Kenzie Whitlock would be due up. We go back to the top of the lineup if Wright is able to reach base here. The 2-2 pitch misses low. Runs the count full. Three balls and two strikes. To the right fielder, Amara Wright. Wright steps out and will... Back in, Swamak was set from the circle, fires the 3 2 pitch. It misses low and inside for a walk. It's the third walk that Valley View has drawn in the game. And there are runners at first and second with two gone as we go back to the top of the lineup. And the leadoff hitter, Mackenzie Whitlock, is two up next. Whitlock, a 354 hitter, looks at a first pitch strike on the outside corner. Whitlock, 17 hits, has driven in seven runs on the year. A one pitch is hit into center field, ranging in to make the grab as Qualls in center. And the two out threat does not come to pass at the bottom of the second. No runs, no hits, no errors at the bottom of the second. No scores. We go to the third from Valley View after this. It's the high school softball, the AB Sports Network. This is Keith Bear with Bear Auto Group. There's nothing that brings our communities together like high school sports. No matter what the scoreboard says, it's a winning feeling just to be... Evolve Bank & Trust is your financial partner of choice for full-service banking in Jonesboro. Come in and see us at 111 East Huntington Avenue, Suite A, or call us at 870-933-2480. Evolve Bank now offers checking and savings accounts, CDs, home and business loans, and so much more. Check us out online at getevolved.com. Evolve Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. 2480. Stop in to see them at 111 East Huntington Suite A or visit them online at getevolve.com. Evolve Bank and Trust, making banking personal again. Evolve Bank and Trust, member FDIC, full housing lender. This is KNEA K237 FI, 953, and K245 CW, 96.9 Jonesboro, and KBRI Clarendon, the Ticket Radio Network. To the top of inning number three we go as a butt gets down along the left side and reaching base safely is Charlie Joe Loback. It went into went in and out of the glove of third baseman Marley Greeno. And Greeno kind of bobbled it around by the time he was able to get in position to make a throw to first. He's not gonna reach first in time. So leadoff base runner for Riverside in the form of Harley Joe Womack. And it blink, brings up Blinkley Biggers, the third baseman. First pitch to Biggers is a strike. 0 and 1 the counts. Here comes the 0 1 pitch. It's softly but foul behind home plates. Biggers batting 477 on the year. On base percentage of near 530. He's driven in. 20 runs on the season as well. Head out into center field, ranging back near the wall, and it's dropped out in left center field. It's going to be an eight, 8 out there in center field. It was Carly Wilson that was given over to try and track it down. Had a play on it, and then Bounced in and out of her glove out there in left center, so there'll be runners at first and second for Riverside with nobody gone at the top of the third. And Durham will stand in just to get a butt down left side, but it goes foul and out of play. One, the count here to Minute Durham. 
Nobody gone. Runners on first and second here in the top of the third. Here comes the 0-1 pitch. Up left side, but foul. Moves the count to no balls, two strikes. The lineup will go back to the top part of the lineup. After this at bat, Emily Qualls waiting on deck. 0-2 pitch on the way, swung on and missed. Chased one outside the zone to go down on strikes. And there's one gone in the top of inning number three. As Annalee Qualls, the center fielder, will stand in next for Riverside. Qualls struck out of their first plate appearance this afternoon. First pitch she sees is popped up and out of play. First base sides. So one one the count. Qual is the leading hitter for Riverside this year. And at 547 with 18 extra base hits, including 14 doubles. Some new softballs issued to the home plate umpire as Qualls will step out of the way for the next pitch with runners on first and second base and one gone here in the top of the third inning. No one pitch to Qualls. Hits left side and foul. Just gets foul beyond that third base back. There's the count. So no balls, two strikes. The Riverside center fielder. Riley Smith continuing to work out of the circle for Valley View. Wilder well, first base hit of the game to start the inning on a bunt single as the 0-2 pitch is in there on the outside corner for a big strikeout. Uh, the leadoff hitter, Anna Lee Qualls, with runners on first and second base. It'll be Kaylee Cox who stands in next for Riverside. Starting shortstop this afternoon, grounded 4-3 to three in her first plate appearance. Lays off of a high fastball above the zone there. Ball and no strikes. The count to the Riverside shortstop. No score here in the top of the third inning. 1-0 pitch on the way, and it misses low for ball two. And then toward the middle part of the plate, but chin high for ball two. 2-0, there's oh. the count to the shortstop, Cox. 2-0 pitch, Cox lifts it out into right field, and it drops out there for a base hit and ride. One run's going to come across to score. Two runs going to come across to score as the throw in is not in time, and Kaylee Cox delivers with a two RBI triple. It dropped right in front of the... Right fielder Amara Wright, and then Wright had to backtrack a little bit to get back to the drop ball. And Cox was able to go all the way to third base, driving in two runs, and Riverside leads two to nothing. There's a fly ball to right field. This one is caught out there in right, and that is the end of the third inning. But Riverside gets two across in the top of the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Our score, Riverside 2, Valley View 0. High School Softball, the AB Sports Network. What keeps us 120 years young? We never stop caring, learning, and leading by example. Some here call it our calling in life. We call it the St. Bernard's Way. Because what moves us every day is the knowledge that having the best science and the best people is the only way to bring Christ-like healing to all who need it. And we will never stop doing what we do because we were born and raised here too. St. Bernard's. Meet the gigs. Blaze is hardcore with a controller. Tara works remotely, zooming by day and online shopping at night. Trey never misses the big game. And Gigi loves to stream, but hates to wait. They're all living the gig life. No lagging, buffering, or waiting. Thanks to Right Fiber's gig speed internet, you too can be like the gigs. Connected to what matters the most for your family with fast 100% fiber internet from Right Fiber. Gary is a little bit late to get out there for the warm-ups offices after 
flying out to end the innings. Just about set to get underway at the bottom of the third. Riverside able to get two across in the top of inning number three. Thanks to the two RBI triple out to right field from Kaylee Cox. And Valley View will look to respond back with two, three, and four due up in the lineup for the Blazers here. Gracie Talley will lead it off in the bottom of the third. First pitch to Talley gets away for ball one. Hit off the netting behind home plates. Talley flew out to center in her first time up. Next offering misses inside and bell tie for ball two. Two balls, no strikes, the count to the Valley View shortstop. Lead things off at the bottom of the third. Riverside leads two to nothing. 2-0 -oh pitch, misses outside for ball three. So three balls and no strikes. Goes the count to the Valley View shortstop. Womack continuing to work out of the circle, able to fire in a strike there, the lower outside corner. Move the count to three and one. Tally on the three one pitch will swing and miss. A breaking ball outside the zone moves the count to three balls and two strikes. The 205 hitter on the year. Eight total hits, facing a full count here. Here comes the 3-2 pitch, chases one above the zone for the strikeout, and there's one gone in the bottom of the third inning. So next up will be the catcher, Ellie Dawson. Dawson walked in the first inning, but then got stranded at second base. First pitch to Dawson, lays off a one in the dirt for ball one. I want to know the count to Ellie Dawson with the bats balanced on her shoulder. Now, swings are one that was probably going to be ball inside. Comes up empty, even to count of the ball and a strike. Ball and a strike with one gone in the bottom of the third. Riverside leads two to nothing. The 1 1 pitch misses inside and high for ball two. Here's the count to two balls and a strike to Dawson. Next pitch on the way, and just miss. It just in there for strike two. A late call from the home plate umpire, but in there for strike two on the outside edge. Runs the count even, two balls, two strikes to Ellie Dawson. Two-two pitch on the way, Dawson does a chase. And the count runs full, three balls, two strikes. It didn't miss by a whole lot. And the upper portion of the zone, but just missed a little bit outside to run the count full. There comes the 3-2 pitch, and it gets away for ball four. And Dawson will go down to first base after drawing the full count walk here in the bottom of the third. Well, next up is Riley Smith, the starting pitcher this afternoon. Smith from the right side, first pitch she sees is a call on strike one. Smith walked in the first inning. Stands in here with the runner on first and one gone in the bottom of the third. Next offering to Smith, just missed below the zone for ball one. Even to count of the ball and a strike. Smith, a 357 hitter on the year. Next offering to Smith, misses for ball two. Mm, just above the knees, but a little bit too far inside to move the count to two balls and a strike. Two one offering on the way, misses upstairs for ball three. High it outside for ball three, and a lot of 
pitches in this sad band that would like, don't get test pitches for Riley Smith. Hasn't offered that because they've been so far outside of the zone, including pitch number five of the at-bat as Smith will take her base over at first. Back-to-back -back walks have the Blazers in business with one gone in the bottom of the third. With Riverside leading two to nothing. Lacey French, the first baseman that will stand in here for the Blazers. She struck out of the first inning. First offering to Smith. This is lowered outside for ball one. Ball and no strikes to Lacey French. She'll dig back in. Gets a butt down third base side. Throw to the bag at first is in time, but it does the trick. It advances both runners now into scoring position. It will be second and third for Valley View after French able to lay down the sacrifice bunts. It was five to three on the put out, and now the Blazers will have Marley Greeno, the third baseman, up with two gone in the inning. He's pitched to Marley Greeno. He is a called strike one right down the middle. Greeno, a 263 hitter on the year with 10 base hits. No one pitch. Chase is one above the zone for strike number two. Lomack. One strike away from getting out of another jam here in the bottom of the third. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. The 0-2 is popped up. That will drift out of play first base side. And keep the count of no balls, two strikes. Riverside leads two to nothing here in the bottom of inning number three. 0-2 pitch to Greeno, chases one above the zone for the inning-ending strikeout. So the Blazers had runners at second and third, but do not score in the bottom of inning at number three. We go to the fourth, our score, Riverside 2, Valley View 0. This is high school baseball, high school softball, the EAB Sports Network. You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. <laughs> First Security, we've been investing in our home state since 1932, growing deep roots and even deeper relationships. We're part of Arkansas. It's part of us. Today, First Security puts all of that history and stability to good use for you, pouring our resources into the people and places we love best. Arkansas communities, Arkansas families, and Arkansas futures. First Security. Think better. FSBank.com and the FDIC. Top of the fourth we go here from our NBA Baptist broadcast position. Pending state champion Riverside Rebels out of front two to nothing over Valley View in the top of the fourth. First pitch to Katie Ridge, the ball above the zone. Second pitch will foul back by Tone Plate. Ridge struck out in the second inning. Her only other plate appearance. Ball and two strikes here to the Riverside first baseman. Smith on the mound comes six in the one two pitch foul back. The netting behind all plates. Keeps the count of the ball and two strikes to Katie Ridge. Smith done nice. Job working in the circle this afternoon. The 1-2 pitch is fouled back again. Top of the fourth inning, 2 to nothing. Riverside leading Valley View after getting two across an RBI triple from Kingley Cox in the last inning. A swing and a miss on a 1-2 pitch above the zone. And Ridge goes down on strikes to start us out at the top of the fourth inning. We'll send up 
here. Womack, the starting pitcher this afternoon, popped it up out to left field of their first plate appearance. First pitch to Womack, chases one above the zone. It's popped up in foul territory, but going to drop in foul ground. Ellie Dawson was trying to get a glove on it near the wall behind home plate, but hit off the top part of the wall and bounced down. 0-1, count here to Womack. Smith comes set with the 0-1 offering in there for strike two. Upper part of that outside corner for strike two. No balls, two strikes to count. Base is empty, one gone, top of the fourth inning. 0-2 pitch on the way, hit out to left, and going to go foul out there in left field. Keeps the count of no balls, two strikes. To clear Womack with the one gone here at the top of the fourth inning. The 0-2 pitch grounded right side, throwing the bag at first is in time. It goes 4-3 to three on the put out, and there is two gone in the top of inning number four. Riley Akins will stand in next, the second baseman. Popped it up in foul territory to the catcher, Ellie Dawson, at her last time up. Akins batting 400 on the season. First pitch to Akins misses high for ball one. A base percentage of around 500. With six extra base hits and 12 runs batted in. Ground ball left side, going to go foul. Takes the count of ball and a strike. To the Riverside second baseman. Smith comes sense from the circle. Here comes the 1-1 offering. Swung on and missed. Got it to chase one. That was probably shoulder high for strike two. Riverside down to their final strike here in the top of the fourth inning. The 1-2 pitch on the way, swung on and missed. It's an inning-ending strikeout. And Riverside goes down in order in the top of the fourth inning. But Rebels still lead our score after the top of the fourth. Riverside 2, Valley View 0. This is High School Softball, the EAB Sports Network. Hello, I'm estate planning and other law attorney Chad Oldham. More and more often today, I hear clients tell me that the only thing golden about the golden years is that it takes all the gold to grow old. Don't be a victim of rising health care and nursing home costs. Be prepared. Have a plan. Contact us today to find out how we help our clients protect and preserve assets for family and future generations. The Oldham Law Firm, 603 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro, or visit us on the web at oldhamlawfirm.com. Ship anything, anywhere at your number one shipping source, Packmail in Jonesboro. Here's Packmail Tim to tell us more. We are the experts at finding solutions for even the most demanding shipping situations, and our experienced staff can help you choose the best option. So if you need to go to the post office, then FedEx, or all the way out to UPS terminal, and then get that international shipping to DHL, you can do it all in one fast, convenient, and friendly place. Packmail. 361 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro. Ship anything, anywhere today at Packmail. To the bottom of the fourth we go from our NEA Baptist broadcast position here at Valley View. NEA Baptist is healthcare for the next century. Riverside leading two to nothing as it'll go seven, eight, and nine in the lineup for Valley View. Dua, Reese Riley, first pitch. She sees the ball that bounces in the turf. One of those accounts. Next offering, chased one in on the hands there, fouled it off, third base side. And out of play, even to count of the ball to strike. Riley lined out first base side in her first time up. Pitch to Riley, lays off with a high fastball. Two balls and a strike. Count here to the 333 hitter on the season. Eight runs driven in. Oh, 
on-base percentage of nearly 400. Head of the count here, three balls into strike as the next pitch misses inside. Three and one to count here in the bottom of the fourth. Riverside leads two to nothing. A 3-1 offering is in there for strike two. Runs the count full, three balls, two strikes. The DP, Reese Riley. Full count pitch, and Riley goes down swinging. Just a little bit in front of the fastball there for the strikeout to start us out in the bottom of the fourth. It'll be Charlie Wilson, the left fielder, due up next. Struck out of the first plate appearance as swings and misses through the first pitch there. But the on the strikeout, there was a drop third strike that allowed her to advance to first. Later went to second. Uh, didn't go any further than that on the base pass as the 0-1 pitch misses outside. Even scouting the ball on the strike here. The Blazer left fielder. Wilson with the bats on her shoulder, waits for the next pitch. That's a ball. Tough pitch to lay off there. A good eye by Wilson to move the count to two balls and a strike. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Womack comes set around the 2 1 pitch. Bounced off home plate before going into the midst of Brooklyn Berry. Moves count to three balls into strike to the left fielder Charlie Wilson. 3 1 pitch on the way. Wilson didn't offer a one right down the middle, and the count runs full three balls and two strikes. Taken all the way there on 3 1. So the count runs full with one gone here in the top of the fourth. A 3 2 pitch swung on and missed for a strikeout. And there are two gone in the top of the fourth inning. That's the seventh strikeout for back on the mound this afternoon. First pitch to Amira Wright to swing on and miss for strike one. Back on the season has struck out now 142 batters. Doing a really nice job with the strikeouts in this one. The 0 1 pitch framed up but misses low for a ball. A ball on the strike, the count to Amira Wright. Wright walked back in the second inning. He then got stranded at first after the inning ended with a fly out to center. 1-1 one, one pitch. Right, did just, just did get a piece of that to foul it back behind home plates. Moves the count to a ball and two strikes. It's a new softball issued to go back on the mound. The one and two to counter at the bottom of the fourth. Riverside out in front, two to nothing. Non-conference softball action this afternoon. One, two pitch. Hit pretty good out to left field, but gonna go foul. Keeps the count of the ball and two strikes. The right fielder, Amira Wright. One two offering on the way. Wright tried to check her swing, but it grazed her bat and went foul. And she'll stay alive in the count. The ball and two strikes. Wasn't trying to offer at that, but the check swing keeps her alive after it just grazed the bat. Ball and two strikes. Here comes the pitch. Trying to get her to chase a fastball, but lays off and one above the zone to even the count at two balls, two strikes. To the Valley View right fielder. Senior day here at Valley View, honoring a couple of seniors, including Riley Smith, who gets the start. Of, got the start of the mound this afternoon. The 2 2 pitch runs inside for ball three. Right, the chance to perhaps draw our second walk of the game after walking in the second inning as the count runs full. Three balls, two strikes. Here comes the 3 2 pitch, ground ball left side off one bounce into the glove of the third baseman, Blakely Biggers, who throws across 
to first to record the out and end the bottom of the fourth inning. We go to the fifth. Our score, River Crest, Riverside 2, Valley View 0. Back after a limited timeout, this is High School Softball on the AB Sports Network. Demo Smokehouse Barbecue on Johnson at Hilltop and on Main Street across from Jonesboro High School. Now, I'm from Memphis, and I know barbecue, but there are people from Memphis that travel to Jonesboro to sample, taste, and enjoy Demo's Barbecue. No kidding. They come from Memphis, so no need to go anywhere else. Right here, the best barbecue is at Demo's. Any of the ribs, any of the plates, you can enjoy it all at Demo's Smokehouse Barbecue. My mouth is watering. Whether you're a Replacing an old appliance or remodeling your whole kitchen, the appliances you need are right around the corner with GE Appliances at Tucker's Appliance Superstore in Jonesboro. Shop timeless designs and time-saving features on the appliances that are built to last in the busiest homes. Visit Tucker's Appliance today and upgrade your home your way with GE Appliances and your local experts. Shop Tucker's Appliance today and save. Tucker's Appliance. To the top of the fifth we go. Two to nothing. Riverside out in front. They'll send seven, eight, and nine to the order. Two up here at the top of the fifth. First pitch to Carly Joe Womack. Swung on and missed. Second pitch she sees is ball that gets away for ball one. Missed above the zone there. Womack reached on the butt single. And then later came around to score in the third inning. Even count a ball and a strike. Now the count goes to two balls and a strike. The 1 1 pitch misses a little outside. So the count goes to two and one. Smith on the mound. Here's the next offering. You got a chase there from. Harley Joe Womack, the pitch that was just a little bit outside the zone. He was counted two balls at a two strike. Smith has done a nice job of the circle this afternoon, but now the RBI triple at score two in the third as that's it out to right field down for a base hit. It's going to be extra bases. It's pretty good off the bat. Uh, Harley Joe Womack rolled all the way to the wall out there in right field. And Womack will stand at second base after a leadoff double to start us out in the top of the fifth. And Blakely Biggers, the third baseman, will be due up next for Riverside. First offering to Biggers, and the ball gets away, but not far enough for Roman to advance a base from second to third. Here's the next offering to Blakely Biggers. It's a ball upstairs. As if Biggers did go around on that first pitch, that's got a waste. The count's even at the ball and the strike. To the Riverside third baseman, reached on the error back in the third. And later came around to score after getting on base. A swing and a miss there. The ball and two strikes goes to count to Biggers. Just a little bit late on that top side fastball. Just count to a ball and two strikes to the Riverside eight hole hitter. One two pitch. This is outside for ball two. Come back with a breaking ball that's just outside. It was around belt time, but a little bit too far off the zone. So it evens the count. Two balls, two strikes to the Riverside third baseman. Runner at second base after Womack let off the inning with a double. The 2 2 pitch is hit foul. First base side and out of play. So it keeps the count. Two balls, two strikes, two to nothing. Riverside with the lead. Here in the top of the fifth inning. This non-conference matchup between Valley View and Riverside. A flare out and foul first base side. Pretty good at bat here from Blakely Biggers. Found off a few different pitches. 
stayed alive. Two balls and two strikes. Digs back in. Here comes the 2 2 offering. Ground ball right side. Throw to the bag at first is in time. It'll go 4 to 3 on the put out. It does advance Carly Joe Womack from second to third. So Riverside has a runner at third with one gone. Here at the top of the fifth, as Bennett Durham, the right, maybe the left fielder, will stand in next. Durham struck out in the third inning. And I think Durham will stand in here with a runner on third. Any type of ace hit to the outfield would score. There's a butt that goes foul. There's Owen won the count. Durham struck out in the third inning. Here comes the 0-1 pitch, trying to get a bunt down again, but couldn't make contact. The count goes to no balls and two strikes. Durham, the 326 hitter of the year. Here comes the 0-2 offering. There's an offer at one that's outside. Chin high and outside to boot the count to a ball and two strikes. The Riverside nine-hole hitter and left fielder. Riley Smith continuing to work in the circle. There's the one-two pitch. It is popped up and out of play. Durham ran down to the first base bag. Now has to come back and retrieve her back and do the one-two count all over again. Here's the one-two pitch from Riley Smith. And this is letter high and inside to move the count to two and two. Here at the top of the fifth with one gone. Two-two pitch, Durham does an offer, but it's in there. A called strike three on the lower inside corner, and Durham down on strikes for out number two in the fifth inning as it goes back to the top of the lineup with Annalee Qualls. Qualls has struck out a couple of times tonight. And a chance for an RBI here with a runner on third base. First offering to Qualls in there for a called strike one. A Riverside team that batting 466 of the year. Came into this one with 71 extra base hits, but outside of that third inning, Riley Smith has done a nice job with this lineup out of the circle as the 0-2 pitches, or one pitch is in there to move the count to 0-2, about the top part of the zone. But no balls, two strikes, the count to Andalee Qualls. Here's the next offering from Smith. Hit out to left field, ranging back at the wall, and it is with a drop out there. Smith sliding into third safely, and a run will come across to score. An RBI triple from Emily Qualls. And Riverside adds on another one, three to nothing here in the top of the fifth. So Anna Lee Qualls comes up with a big RBI with two gone at the inning. And now another runner at third for Kaylee Cox. Cox had the two RBI triple back in the third. And the first inning went four to three on the ground out ahead of the count here, ball and no strikes. The 1 0 pitch is in there for a strike at the top part of the zone that Cox didn't like. Next offering from Smith in there for strike two. So a ball and two strikes to the shortstop, Kaylee Cox, with a runner on third, and a run having already come across to score in the top of the fifth. Three to nothing, Riverside out in front. Smith from the mound, the 0-2 pitch, hit out to left field, that's going to drop for a base hit. It's an RBI single for Kaylee Cox. And it drives in Anna Lee Qualls, and Riverside ups their lead to four to nothing here in the top of the fifth. Brooklyn Berry, the catcher, will be due up next. 
Very went five to three on a ground out in the first and flew out to right in her last time up. Pops that up into foul territory. And ranging over to grab it is the third baseman, Marley Greeno, to record the final outs of the fifth. But not before Riverside gets two more to come across. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Our score, Riverside four, Valley View zero. Back after a one-minute timeout, this is High School Softball, the EAB Sports Network. Oh, yeah. Since 1997, First Community Bank has understood the importance of community banking and the many roles we play in empowering our local communities. We were founded on the principle of putting community first. 25 years later, this still holds true because there's value in being part of a community. Each of our neighbors play an integral role. It's why we work really hard to support you. We are proud to continue serving you. First Community Bank, where community comes first. Member FDIC. Your vehicle is a personal and important investment. At Central Collision Center, we're more than collision repair. We do everything from minor paint touch-ups and windshield replacements to framework. We're committed to customer satisfaction and provide the highest quality of service. At Central Collision Center, we provide honest and expert auto care and offer a written lifetime warranty and on-site rental car arrangements. Stop by or give us a call today to schedule your free estimate. Central Collision Center. Professional, convenient, reliable. Find Central Chevrolet on Stadium and online at Central Collision C. To the bottom of the fifth, we go here from Valley View at our NEA Baptist broadcast position. NEA Baptist is healthcare for the next century. Riverside defending state champions out in front, four to nothing over Valley View. Riverside off to a 16-0 start on the year. They've already clinched a regular season conference title, having gone 12-0 in conference play. First pitch to the Valley View leadoff hitter, Marley Whitlock, called strike one. Whitlock is 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Here comes the 0-1 pitch. Lays off of the fastball. High it outside for ball one. Whitlock popped it up to the second baseman Aikens in the first inning that flew out to center in the second inning. Ground ball right side, charging in, trying to make the play is the pitcher Womack. Made a diving effort to try and get to get the ball to first base in time, but Whitlock is safe at first off an infield single. And Valley View has a leadoff base runner here in the bottom of the fifth. Racy Talley, the shortstop, will be due up for the Blazers. Shows bunts, gets it down but foul. And the count goes to 0-1. Talley flew out to center in the first, then struck out in the third. to nothing Riverside out in front over Valley View. Play on in the bottom of the fifth. Kelly shows butt again, pops it up. It is caught by Brooklyn Berry for out number one. Tally pops up the bunts, and now the three-hole hitter, Ellie Dawson, the catcher, will stand in. Dawson walked in the first inning, then singled the lead off the inning of the third. Runner on the go, throw down to second base, gets away, and taking an extra bag is McKenzie Whitlock. The throw would have been in time, but it just bounced away from the second baseman, Riley Aikens. And so it's a stolen base for McKenzie Whitlock and Deli Dawson. An RBI opportunity now on a 1 0 count. It's the butt down first base side, but foul. Evens the count of the ball on the strike. Roll back on the mound for Riverside. Having a great year on the mound with an ERA of just over one. Ground ball left side, but foul. Moves the count to a ball and two strikes. Womack has allowed just five total runs this year. Struck out over 140, only allowed 
42 walks on the season. Ball and two strikes to Ellie Dawson. Here comes the one-two pitch, gets away. The runner from second will advance down to third after the pitch missed upstairs and off of the netting behind home. He evens the count at two balls and two strikes. To the Valley View catcher, 2-2 pitch in there, called strike three. And that is how the second out of the inning is recorded. So Riley Smith, the starting pitcher, will stand in with a chance to help her cause. The runner on third, Smith has reached base safely twice. Today, drawing two walks in her two plate appearances. First pitch misses high for a ball. Ball and no strikes. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. And Smith doesn't offer, but he catches the top part of the zone to even the count of the ball to strike. Good top one for long. Romack comes set from the circle and fires in a nice fastball right down the middle. Smith does it off where the count goes to a ball and two strikes. One two with a runner on third and two gone at the bottom of the fifth. The one two offering on the way and this is outside for ball two. Evens the count, two balls, two strikes. In the bottom of the fifth. Good job to lay off of that breaking ball, breaking outside of the zone there. 2 2 pitch. That's a fastball. So run the count full of three balls and two strikes. Just above the zone at three and two. Full count, payoff pitch upcoming. And it's swung on and missed for an inning ending strikeout. The Blazers had a leadoff base runner aboard with a single, but can't do anything with it. We go to the sixth inning. Our score, Riverside 4, Valley View 0. It's high school baseball, the AB Sports Network. The employees of Alexander's Machine Shop, Jimmy, Kim, Jordan. Evolve Bank & Trust is your financial partner of choice for full-service banking in Jonesboro. Come in and see us at 111 East Huntington Avenue, Suite A, or call us at 870-933-2480. Evolve Bank now offers checking and savings accounts, CDs, home and business loans, and so much more. Check us out online at getevolved.com. Evolve Bank & Trust, Equal Housing Lender, Member FDIC. Who you can trust? Forest Office Machines, your authorized sharp document system dealer at 1005 G Street in Jonesboro, 932 7852. Call Forest Office Machines today. To the top of the sixth, we go as we welcome back to Bernier Baptist broadcast position for high school softball action between Valley View and Riverside. Leading off the sixth inning is Katie Bridge, the first baseman who fouls one out of play. 0-1 the count to Ridge, making her third plate appearance of the afternoon and struck out in each of the previous two plate appearances. Four to nothing, Riverside with the lead. We're in the top of the six. That's foul back. Count goes to no balls, two strikes. Riverside getting Two runs across in the third, and then two runs across in the fifth to lead it 4 0. 2 pitch, trying to get Ridge to chase above the zone. Ridge doesn't, and the count goes to a ball at two strikes. This is empty here in the top of the sixth. Next offering to Ridge, a swing and a miss. Throw down to first on the drop third strike is in time. And Ridge goes down on strikes to start us out in the top of the sixth. So it'll send up clear Womack here. Womack, the starting pitcher this afternoon. Popped it up in her first plate appearance. We'll pop that up. 
over to the second base side. Running in to make the grab is Mackenzie Whitlock, and Womack is down on the hop up. It goes P4, and there are two gone. Here in the top of the sixth, as Riley Akins, the second baseman, is due up next. First pitch to Akins, lays off for it above the zone, moves the count to a ball of no strikes. Akins popped it up in foul territory, or Dawson retrieved it in the second inning, and then struck out in the fourth. Here is the 1-0 pitch. This is high for ball two. Two balls, no strikes. The count to Aikens, 400 hitter on the season. Non-base percentage of around 500. Sort of a little relate extra base hits, 2-0 pitch. I want to lay off of that as well. Moves the count to three balls and no strikes. Three and zero oh with two gone here in the top of the six, and the three zero oh pitch is in there for strike one. Came right back with a fastball right down the middle of the zone for strike one. So the count goes to three and one, and the three one pitch misses high for ball four. So after two quick outs. Here in the top of the sixth, Ake is able to draw a walk and provide Riverside with a two-out base runner for Carly Joe Womack, the right fielder. Womack reached on a butt single in the third and came around to score, then doubled and came around to score in the fifth as the throw down to second is not in time. Bacon's going to take an extra base here. So now Riverside with a runner in scoring position. There's pitch to go. Romag, now the runner in motion again. Throw down the third, not in time. So back to back pitches were after the pitch. Bacon's has been in motion. Nobody has caught it, and now Riverside for the runner at third base. And an even count of the ball to strike to Carly Joe Womack, who sends out in the foul territory left field side, where it drops for strike number two. So a ball and two strikes. Count here to the Riverside right fielder. Ready with the one-two offering, and this is outside. Mac doesn't give the chase, even to count at two balls and two strikes. Here with two gone in the top of the six, the two-two pitch is hit foul, softly foul by I don't play. Just didn't make contact with it, foul at all. Keeps the count even at two and two. Four to nothing, Riverside here in the top of the sixth inning. Two-two pitch, bounces in the turf, and runs the count full. Three balls and two strikes. Three balls, two strikes. To the right fielder, Carly Joe Woman. Runner on third, here comes the three-two pitch, and hits right into the glove of the first baseman, Lacey French, for out number three. So Riverside, a two-out walk, got to run all the way to third base, but nothing comes of it in the top of the sixth. Our score going into the bottom of the sixth, Riverside four, Valley View zero. Back after a one-minute timeout, this is High School Softball, the AB Sports Network. No matter what the season, it's always a great time to go to Wings to Go. Whether it's football, whether it's basketball, whether it's baseball, whether it's wrestling, whether it's anything, the wings, the salads, the hamburgers, everything they have at Wings to Go is always flavorful and it's always ready. All that has to happen is you come down and enjoy them. Happy winging from Wings to Go. When this is the sound of a waterfall in nature, there's no cause for concern. 
But when it's the sound of water gushing through your living room ceiling because a pipe bursts inside the wall, there's reason to panic, unless you pick up the phone and call 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Only the cleanup and restoration specialists at SERVE-PRO can help make fire and water damage like it never even happened. So make the call to 1-800-SERVE-PRO at the first sign of water damage. Franchises are independently owned and operated. Or call me, David Ellison, at 870-897-7888 or 870-934-0501 for your next fire or water cleanup. To the bottom of the sixth we go, 4 to nothing, Riverside. As Lacey French will stand in. French quickly ahead of the count. Two balls, no strikes. French struck out of the first. And then laid down a sacrifice bunt back in the third inning. 2-0 pitch. French does an offer, but it's a called strike one. The top part of the zone. Two balls and a strike. The count to the Valley View first baseman. We're in the bottom of the six, just underway, four to nothing, Riverside. The 2 1 pitch is hit foul and will drop in foul territory for strike number two. He was a count, two balls, two strikes. To the Valley View first baseman. The Lasers with just one base hit on the afternoon. It's a 2 2 pitch is lunged at. And count remains even. Two balls and two strikes to Lacey French. Another lunge of one outside the zone and lifted foul at third base territory. Next offering, French lays off for one, but this is inside. Runs the count full at three balls and two strikes. The Valley View first baseman. Nobody on. 3 2 count. So the start us off at the bottom of the sixth. The 3 2 pitch. Grounded right side. Throw to the bag at first is in time. It goes 4 to 3 on the put out of Lacey French. And there's one gone in the home half of the sixth as Marley Greeno stands in next for Valley View. The laser third baseman has struck out twice today. Pitch to Greeno misses high for a ball. One and all the count. And Romack hit the circle, but a really nice job this afternoon. It's not allowed a run, and again, it's only allowed the one base hit as the 1 0 pitch misses chin high at inside. Moves the count to two balls and no strikes to Marley Greeno. 2-0 pitch on the way. Greeno swings through a fastball at the top part of the zone. Moves the count to two balls and a strike. One gone here in the bottom of the sixth inning. This is empty as the 2-1 pitch is in there for a called strike two. Came in bell tie and just caught that outside portion of the zone to even the count of two balls and two strikes to the Blazer third baseman. 2-2 pitch on the way. Ground ball left side and foul. So it keeps the count at two and two. We know the six hole hitter this afternoon. Staying alive in the counts. 2-2 offering on the way, pops it up, but it's going to get foul and out of play. You know, doing a nice job to stay alive in the counts. Two balls, two strikes. Now the last two pitches off to keep it that way. 2-2 offering on the way, another foul ball. Third base side and out of play. Count remains even. Two balls, two strikes to Marley Greeno. Riverside leads four to nothing here at the bottom of the sixth inning. 2-2 pitch on the way is skied up and foul. Out of play again. Greeno continuing to battle at the plates. Even count. 
Omaha. Fires in another 2 2 pitch. Greeno was well out in front of him, was able to foul it off. Left side, and now to play. Keeps the count even, two balls, two strikes. And roll back, back on the back. Fires the 2 2 pitch, is hit out into center field. Ranging in to make the grab is Annalie Qualls for out number two. Two gone here in the top of the sixth as Reese Riley is due up next for Valley View. Riley lied down in the first time up and then struck out in the fourth. A couple of new softballs need to be issued before Riley can step in. Four to nothing, Riverside. They scored two in the third and two in the fifth. First pitch to Reese Riley is a called strike one. Row and one the count to Riley. Line out of the second to the uh, strike out of the fourth. Her card tonight lays off of a breaking ball there that just missed outside for ball one. Even to count of the ball to strike. To Reese Riley. Well, that comes set from the circle. The one-one pitch is fouled back. First base side and out of play. Riley, a 333 hitter on the gear. Has eight hits, has driven in six runs. It's a home run and a double as well to record on the year. One ball, two strikes. The one-two pitch, a riser that is laid off of for ball two on the high fastball. So it evens the count at two and two. With two gone in the bottom of the sixth. And the two-two pitch just missed on that lower outside corner. Count runs full. Three balls, two strikes to Reese Riley. Going to provide the Blazers with a two-out base runner. Full count pitch on the way, swung on and missed for an inning-ending strikeout. And the Blazers go down in order in the bottom of the sixth. So the seventh we go, our score, Riverside 4, Valley View 0. Back after a one-minute timeout, this is High School Softball on the EAB Sports Network. At Barton's, we see your commitment to making your project a success. From the pro, up with the sun that doesn't quit until it goes down, to the DIYer who fixes each challenge head-on, our season store partners support you every step of the way. Since 1885, Barton's has been the backbone of local communities for every type of project. From new construction to home remodel, our dedicated team is here to empower your project with local delivery options and a variety of complimentary project services, including expert kitchen planning. Visit your hometown team today and build it better with Barton's. Playing against sports, what's to pay you money? Now that I have your attention. Playing against sports in Jonesboro wants to buy your used sports equipment. You heard me right. If you have something that's either outgrown or no longer being used, bring it to Playing Against Sports now. They're looking for youth and adult baseball and softball equipment, golf, weights and workout equipment, disc golf, you name it. Playing Against Sports can turn it into cash for you. Go buy Playing Against Sports at the corner of Highland and Caraway in Jonesboro. This is KNEA 2237 and 93 and KC45CW 96 Jonesboro and KBRI Clarendon. The Ticket Radio Network. To the top of the seventh inning we go. Four to nothing Riverside. The lead over Valley View as there's a foul ball by Don't Blade it by Blakely Vickers, the Riverside third baseman. Vickers down the count. No balls, two strikes. Reached on an error in the third. And they came around to score off of that. They went four to three on a ground ball in the fifth inning. There's a ball hit to right field, but foul. No balls, two strikes. Is the count to the Riverside third baseman. Riverside, all of their base hits have come in that third and fifth inning, which were the innings 
that they scored two runs apiece in an 0-2 pitch. Is hit out right side, throwing to the bag at first is in time. It goes four to three. On the ground ball out for the third baseman, Blakely Bickers, and there's one gone in the top of the seventh inning as Bennett Durham, the left fielder, digs in next for Riverside. Left-handed hitting Durham is 0 for 2 on the afternoon with a couple of strikeouts. There's pitch to Durham, lays off of one. I get outside for ball one. One of the counts. Here's the one of the pitch. They're unable to punch it in and foul it's out of play. Ball of the strike. The 326 hitter on the year. Durham with 14 base hits on the season. The even count here, a ball and a strike. Here comes the 1-1 one, one pitch, and the 1-1 one, one is skied up, third base side. It's the Blazer shortstop, Tracy Talley, that comes over to make the grab for out number two in the top of the seventh as we go back to the top of the lineup where Ada Lee Qualls will stand in for Riverside. Qualls struck out of the first and third inning, swings it up. High fastball there it was well out in front of that. But then delivered in the RBI triple back in the fifth inning to score one of the two runs. It was later driven in by an RBI single from Kaylee Koch, providing a runner self. No one pitch is fouled up out of play. No balls, two strikes. The count to Qualls. 4 0 Riverside here in the top of the seventh. Comes the 0-2 pitch. It's in there for a call. Strike three. And Riverside goes down in order in the top of inning number seven. Last chance for Valley View. Our score after the top of the seventh. Riverside four, Valley View zero. Back after a one-minute timeout. This is High School Softball on the AV Sports Network. Urgent Care Plus, now open at 3001 Apache Drive in Jonesboro. Open 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day for your convenience. Urgent Care Plus provides everything you need in a standard Urgent Care Plus a little more. Illness and injuries like deep lacerations, minor fractures, sprain, sprain, and new onset low back pain is easily handled by our staff of ER trained providers. No appointment necessary. NEA Baptist Urgent Care Plus is an urgent care with a little more. At First National Bank, our mortgage lending team knows what it takes to make a home and a superior home loan process. Simple, proven, and reliable service with competitive rates at a bank that already feels like home. Since 1889, that's been the First National Bank way because for our people, this is home. Apply online at fnbank.net slash mortgage. From our family to yours, welcome home. First National Bank. Member FDIC Equal Housing To the bottom of the seventh we go. Last chance for the Blazers. Trailing it forward to nothing over Riverside in this non-conference action. First pitch to Charlie Wilson, the left fielder. Misses for a ball. Womack continuing to work on the mound. Looking like we won't see. The 0 1 pitch misses for. There's in there for strike two. The 0 2 pitch is swung on and missed. It's a strikeout of Charlie Wilson to start the inning off. And there's one gone here in the. Bottom of the seventh for Valley View as Vera Wright will stand in. The right fielder lays off of a breaking ball outside the zone. Moves the count to a ball with no strikes. The nine hole hitter reach base with a walk back in the second inning. And went five to three. Ground ball out in the fourth. Swing and a miss there. Evens the count of a ball and a strike to Amira Wright. 
Four to nothing, Riverside leads as we play into the seventh inning. One one pitch, this is high for ball two. So two balls and a strike. There's the count here. And the 2 1 pitch, the slider that's swung on and missed. Even the count at two balls and two strikes. To the Blazer right fielder, Amira Wrights. 2 2 pitch. Wright does it offer at a rising fastball that runs the count full. Three balls, two strikes to count. Four to nothing. Riverside with the lead here in the bottom of the seventh. The three-two pitch. It is hit out to left field foul territory, but dropped. So Avera Wright will have to come back up to the plate after the foul ball was dropped. With the counts. A run full of three balls and two strikes. Three two pitch on the way, grounded back up the middle into center field for a base hit. So Valley View with a runner aboard and one gone here in the bottom of the seventh. We'll see what Valley View can do with a runner on first. And standing in is the leadoff hitter, Mackenzie Whitlock. Ground ball left side throw to second is going to be in time. So Whitlock will reach on the fielder's choice. Five to four there on the fielder's choice to get the lead runner. And there are two gone here in the bottom of the seventh for Valley View. First offering to Gracie Talley. Misses for ball one. Richard strike one to Gracie Talley. Next pitch is popped up. And foul territory, right field side, ranging over to make the play. It is the right fielder, probably Joe Womack, for out number three. And the game ending out as well as Riverside remains unbeaten. They improved their mark to 17-0, dropped Valley View to 13-5. Riverside wins it this afternoon by the final count of 4 to nothing. We'll have the Barton's postgame show coming up after a 30-second timeout. This is High School Softball, the EAB Sports Network. Huge savings now at every Kavanaugh dealership. Kavanaugh has a great selection of late model, low mileage, certified pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. And most are still under factory warranty. We have every make and every model. So you're sure to find the vehicle you want. And when you buy at Kavanaugh, every new and used purchase comes with one year of free maintenance. Plus, we buy cars. Bring a vehicle, get a check. Come see us today at one of our dealerships or go to KavanaughCars.com. And extends the star of the Barton's post-game show from Valley View. Build it better with Barton's. One thing we didn't get a chance to do today is tell you about a Cabin Auto Group call the bullpen with both starters going the distance this afternoon. Call the bullpen by Cabinaw Auto Group. Check out Cabinaw's entire selection of new and pre-owned inventory at CabinawCars.com. Taking a look at some of the final numbers. They're moving. The Barton's post-game show, Build It Better with Barton's. For Valley View, just two base hits in the game this afternoon. The first hit for the Blazers came in the fifth inning with Mackenzie Whitlock delivering a single in the fifth inning. And then in the seventh inning, a single by Amara Ride. The Blazers also had a few different players get on base drawing walks. They drew four walks this afternoon, but they were able to drive a run in as they fall four to nothing. Meanwhile, for Riverside, 
the Rebels were able to use a two-run third and a two-run fifth to come out on top of this one. It was Kaylee Cox that delivered with a two-RBI triple in the third inning. And then in the fifth inning, a double by Carly Joe Womack started the inning off with an RBI triple, scored her from Anna Qualls, Anna Lee Qualls. And then right after that, it was Kaylee Cox who delivered an RBI single out to right field to score Qualls, the only uh, two runs of the inning, but it made it a four to nothing game at that point, and that was our final winning pitcher this afternoon. It's Glenn Womack on the mound again. A really nice performance, only allowed two base hits in the game, and did a nice job striking out the Blazer lineup as well. Overall, Womack finishing the game with nine total strikeouts. Losing pitcher this afternoon, Riley Smith, who pitched a really good game, but just the third and fifth innings for Riverside were the big difference this afternoon as Riverside wins it four to nothing. Riverside goes to 17 and 0 on the year. Valley View at 13 and 5 on the season as for JOS. Ah, we would like to turn our attention to the pitching circle where we will honor our 2024 Lady Blazers. Our first sing senior is our pitcher, number 24, Riley Smith. Riley is met at the circle by her parents, Randy and Cheryl Smith, her sister, Montana Tapper. She is involved with FFA, PALS program, and helping with Miss Tina's classes. Upon graduation, Riley will continue her education and softball career at the University of Mobile, where she plans to major in collaborative special education, K-6. Her favorite softball memory was winning the 2022 Softball State Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, our number 24, Riley Smith. Our next and last senior <laughs> is number five, Amira Wright. <laughs> Amira is being joined by her parents, Corey and Trisha Wright, and her brother, Ace. I chopped that up, my bad. She moved to Valley View her freshman year and has been a part of this program ever since. Amira's plans for the future include attending Arkansas State University and getting a degree in advanced medical imaging and therapy. Her favorite softball memory is, let me know if you've heard this before, also winning the 2022 Softball State Championship versus Nashville. Ladies and gentlemen, our number five, Amira Wright. Riley, join Mirror at the circle, too.
Don't go anywhere. I'm not done. Haha. <laughs> These young ladies have left a lasting impression on our program with their hard work and leadership. They help get things set up when we're ready for practice. Argue with Lacey just to get her going. And support their teammates in whatever they're doing. You usually can see them in the dugout cheering and encouraging whoever is batting. They've adapted to having three different head coaches in their career and excel in all three styles. Their careers have been highlighted with conference championships, regional runners-up, state championships, moving from 4A to 5A, and being in the state tournament all three years, and we're hoping for the fourth. We understand that there are still more games to be played, more memories to be made with your teammates and coaches, goals to be obtained, and we coaches leave you with these wise words from a great poet, Dr. Seuss. There is fun to be done. There are runs to be scored. There are games to be won. And a magical thing you can do with a ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Amira and Riley, we love you. And very proud of the young individuals you each have become over these short years. Our prayer for each one of you is that you will spread your wings, make a positive, strong impact in your community, and bless the world with your love, determination, and leadership. You are each amazing people. Thank you for allowing us coaches to be a part of your lives. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm thank you to our two seniors, number 24, Riley Smith, and number 5, Amira Wright. Hold on. Yeah. Picture time.